Networkers. SCAN International is an amateur radio communication group founded in the Philippines. SCAN started with a handful of members. It was registered to the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, on July 12, 1988, as DX1 EVM SCAN International. EVM stands for Enthusiasts of Various Modes, and SCAN stands for Society of Communicators and Networkers. The National Telecommunications Commission, NTC, has officially accredited as an amateur radio organization on February 6, 1989, and this date serves as the official foundation day of the club. The Philippine Amateur Radio Association, PARA, affiliation was on August 12, 1989. In its founding years, SCAN International has maintained a bulletin board system, BBS, using an amateur radio packet modem. The SCAN BBS is one of the networks during the dawn of Internet gateways in the Philippines, nearing node using wireless connectivity through packet radio. Hence, the organization has made a significant contribution to the advent of the Internet age in the Philippines. To centralize its operation and management, the group adopted SCAN International. It serves as an umbrella organization converging different chapters worldwide. SCAN International has supported socio-civic events and amateur radio activities, thus serving society. The SCAN International has the following objectives. Conduct lectures, seminars, and education for amateur radio users in the proper use of airwaves. Promote active participation for civic, social, and educational projects. Encourage everyone interested in all aspects of amateur radio communication in its pursuit of reaching people's lives. Maintain an international association dedicated to realizing the scientific development of wireless communications. SCAN International is an organization where radio enthusiasts convene with a common purpose and hobby, ham radio. Ham radio, often referred to as amateur radio, covers some fields of science and technology, specifically electrical, electronics, and communications. Hence, members of the group indulge in a wide variety of innovations related to communications. The interests explored are two-way radio operations, the most popular, emergency communications, antenna designs, and technical experimentations. Ham radio activities also include cultural immersion by exchanging ideas and promoting universal friendship. SCAN International upholds amateur radio communication in HF, VHF, UHF radio, bulletin board system, BBS, and other communication media. The group has become more active from the original analog radio technology to the proliferation of ham radio QSO using digital mobile radio and smartphone applications. SCAN International also supports the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts in their activities like Jamboree on the Air, JOTA, and Jamboree on the Internet, JOTI. Hota Jodi is the annual world's largest digital scout event online and on the air, and it is a friendship activity of more than a couple of million scouts worldwide. Some SCAN International members delve into more advanced endeavors like communication network infrastructure design and implementation, measurements and engineering, scientific development of wireless communications, and developing hardware that enhances radio signals and clearer audio transmission. I'm a robot. I'm the robot with excess over telemetry. Just call me Venus. I have seven senses. I can detect flame, smoke, temperature, body heat, motion, radiation, and gas leaks. Through its volunteer members, SCAN International supports community projects in service to humanity. The group regularly conducts massive tree planting projects in different parts of the world supervised by its national, regional, and district chapters. It also provides motorist assistance to both public and private commuters. In the Philippines, the Department of Public Works and Highways promotes a motorist assistance. It is an annual public service program nationwide to provide immediate assistance to motorists, such as rescuing troubled vehicles, giving directions to visitors, and communication aid in emergencies, especially during holiday seasons. SCAN International regularly participates in this nationwide event. Another significant contribution of SCAN International to civic society is its participation in maintaining the health of tropical rainforests and mountains. We have to preserve our natural environments and resources because these provide a significant role in our survival. Time and again, the group conducts tree planting activities and cleanup drives in different parts of the world, especially in the Philippines. Moreover, SCAN International provides communications assistance and disseminates information in support of society by conducting rescue operations to help affected people from catastrophic incidents. Its members are visible in assisting people to save their lives and properties from a volcanic eruption, killer quakes, fire, and floods in different areas worldwide. 
We have preserved and kept the spirit of amateur radio but until when? We all grow old, and that's why we encourage all of you to pass on the hobby and the passion. Be an Elmer to the younger generations, and encourage them to be the amateur radio operators of the future, bearing the spirits of reaching out to other people's lives. In passing on this legacy, we can encourage more responsible citizens who are also willing to help and assist during times of calamities and emergencies. Thus, realizing our motto, saving lives, is our priority. Let us not forget that despite the advances in communications that make us attuned to the changing times, we need to continue to be even more effective ham radio operators today and in the future. Ham radio operators during emergencies and calamities will remain significant. In emergencies like strong typhoons and the like, ham radio will remain the most reliable tool for communication because it is not dependent on the infrastructure of telecommunication companies. Some of these calamities, where ham radio became useful, are Hurricane Katrina in the USA, Typhoon Andoy in the Philippines, and earthquakes in Tahiti and Chile. The remaining and enduring means of communication used by both government agencies and amateur radio enthusiasts in the affected areas is the two-way radio. In outer space, the crews of the International Space Station are using amateur radio to talk to their loved ones, radio enthusiasts, and students all over the world. Finally, along with the advancements in communications and proliferation of smartphones, keeping interests among youth on him radio as a passion, shall be our enduring involvement in the betterment of society.